Hello everyone, my name is Webweaver and welcome back to It's Look Who It Is right here, right now. It's the Shadow Wizard Money Gang and we love casting spells. Um, so listen, I just got one thing to say besides we gotta hurry. Quick play, all unlock perk 7th curse. Kathak Otharasu. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, so for those of you who don't keep up with Warhammer 40k, uh, there's a big problem right now where when something new comes out, you can't get it because it just sells out in like two minutes, not an exaggeration, it sells out like two minutes or less. And then the only way to get it is like spend a hundred plus dollars on uh, eBay in order to get it. Uh, it's pretty bad, so Jover. So when uh, they announced 10th edition and they were like, hey, it's look who it is, it's the new Leviathan box. Everybody's like, oh, hell yeah. Uh, they just announced today it is uh, not available to order. It is limited while supplies last. So it's so over. It's never been more over than uh, how it is right now. Uh, Rip, Bozo, Pack Watch won't be missed, etc., etc. That's bad, man. That's really bad. It's gonna sell out and like, it, like they said that they made a mind-boggling quantity. And yeah, it's gonna be, it, it, a mind-boggling quantity is when it sells out in less than, like, 30 minutes on the website. Like, that's so fucking bad, man. Like, that sucks. Yeah, we're swearing in the first, like, a minute, 30 seconds of the video. You'll never see this video in the, in your subscription feed. We love casting spells. Um, knowledge, dexterity, light source, charisma. We can try to make some of these work, and by some of them, I mean none of them. Just for fun, you know? Maybe we could do knowledge if we get lucky, but we'll see, we'll see. I'm just very disappointed right now because it's like, I admittedly have not been spending a lot of money on the hobby recently because moving, moving fees, moving expenses. Um, but, uh, and also I, I have all my stuff packed in boxes so I couldn't build or paint if I wanted to. I, I just purchased God Tier in like a board game which had cute miniatures. Um, but like, how do I put it? It's pretty, uh, like there were some sets that I was like, oh yeah, I'd definitely pick those up if I could. And then I saw them come out and they were like sold out within like two nanoseconds. Like you, you didn't even, you literally didn't even have the chance to put them in your cart. And it's like every time you look at the um, like the pre-order section on the Games Workshop website, everything on the Warhammer 40k pre-orders is sold out, like all pretty much instantaneously, unless it's like some made-to-order thing. If it's made-to-order, then it's not sold out because that's the point of made-to-order. Um, so I feel like they're gonna have to do something about it, man, because it's like all of your like basically what happened is they released a couple of kill teams which were like really dog water and nobody wanted them and then they started releasing these incredibly really good kill teams that everybody wanted but they made them in such low quantity that they would just sell out instantly uh and so like it's been a consistent thing for a while whenever games workshop makes something cool and it's not made to order, it's sold out, like, hour one, hour two at the latest. Uh, and so whenever they did, like, the made to order things, like they did with the Christmas box sets, where it's like it's made to order for the certain period of time, um, and then it's just, like, while well, supplies last after that, um, that was really good, because it ensured that everybody could get what they wanted and it cut down on scalpers so that you could get them like slightly cheaper off of ebay than you could off of gw so like that was ultimately very good and i think that's probably why they're doing it because if you do something made to order it's going to be cheaper on ebay than it is on the games workshop website by like 10 or 20 bucks so there's a lot of people who are just going to go through that and use that instead but if you make everything a limited quantity then that means the cheapest way to get it is going to be through games workshop but they're gonna have to do something. Like, they're gonna have to do, like, a second wave or, like, after it sells out in five nanoseconds. Uh, they're gonna have to, like, do, like, a made-to-order thing or something. Because people people are gonna be pissed. Like, nobody's gonna be able to get one. Mind-boggling amount. Uh, we have a mind-boggling quantity. It's like... 
I I'm sorry, but like saying, oh yeah, 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 a company that is notorious for having good products sell out instantly, um, has a mind-boggling quantity. Yeah, the, the quantity is two. You made two Leviathan boxes. Um, and they're gonna sell out <laughs> before anybody can click add to cart. Shit's crazy, man. And the thing is, like, I was looking into it. I was looking into getting the Leviathan box, but, like, that, there's no sh there's no chance. There's no shot. There, there's absolutely zero chance that I could even get one if I wanted to. Because I, I love those Tyranids so much, man. Like, I'm a little bit... Like, here's the thing. I've always been half and half on Space Marines because I feel like if I made a homebrew Space Marine chapter, I would, like, fall in love with Space Marines and only want to play Space Marines, but I haven't made that homebrew chapter yet, so I'm like, eh, Space Marines can uh, just be biomass for all I care. I love Tyranids. I love my little bugs, you know? Love my little homies. But, uh, yeah, no, it's just... It, it's never been so... It's never been as Jover as it is currently. <laughs> Because it's like, that's telling me when I just see like, oh, limited time available while stocks last. That's telling me it's going to sell out within the hour. And then you're going to be seeing it. Like, it's probably going to be like 210 bucks. I think that was like the leaked price that people were talking about online. It's probably going to be like 210 bucks. And then you're going to like see it for like 300 or $400 on eBay. And you're just going to have to be like, okay with that. And the Tyranids themselves, like, and half of the box will be, like, as much as the, the retail box on, uh, like, half. It's basically, for those of you who don't know, the, the new edition boxes come with two armies in them. And a very common thing is to split the cost with a friend. So it's like if you have one friend that plays Tyranids and another who plays Space Marines, you'd go halfsies on a new box and then split the army down the middle. Uh, so it's like the Tyranid player gets the Tyranids, the Space Marine player gets the Space Marines, that sort of thing. Um... But it's just like, uh, you're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to do that. The boxes aren't going to exist. And if you think I'm acting very pessimistic about it, when I normally try to be optimistic, the problem is that they haven't proved that they can actually do this shit. Because whenever they do something made to order, it works perfectly. You just order it. That's what I did with the, um, the freaking Christmas sets. Right? Like, if you want it, it has a period of made-to-order, and then after that, it's a limited quantity thing. I think that's perfectly acceptable. And also, you're going to do that for a Christmas set, but you're not going to do that for the new edition box set? Are you insane? Setting up the new villain, and obviously setting up the Space Marines, because the Space Marines are always the protagonists. Um, like, seriously, it's nuts. Because it's like, I really wanted to do something with the Leviathan box set. I, I really want those Tyranids. They're so cool. I was gonna be like, we're so back. Th this is, it's time to do hobby stuff, but I'm I'm still gonna do hobby stuff. I got uh, some I, I got some squads for God tier and I've got that miniature game that I talked about was a like super fantasy brawl or something that uh, those two need to be built and painted. Well, actually, no, they're pre-assembled, so they just need to be painted which is alright with me, brother. Brother and sister. But, uh, what are we doing here? I don't know. I'm just disappointed. I was really looking forward to the Leviathan box. But, they, it, like, Games Workshop has not proved that they can do a limited release pre-order window that is going to be, like, satisfying to everybody involved. Uh, we were bound to miss one of those eventually. That's okay. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Is Colton Lincoln our second enemy? Yes. If we have to worry about a second enemy, it's called Delinquent. Uh, we might as well just do that. Just take the one damage. That's okay. Thank God I investigated the forest twice. I was like, what mystery this is? I don't know. I don't know what mystery we're on. I'm just clicking buttons. I'm like, uh, Josuke fighting Rohan. If, uh, if, if your ability was based on making me see something, I'm just seeing red right now. Can't even comprehend what the hell you're talking about. What you're trying to show me. I'm just I, I'm just seeing red. Mermaid, scissors, wordless word. Yeah, sure. We can do a little bit of mermaids, burn it all to the ground, etc, etc. But yeah, no, I'm just... I'm bummed, because, like, the Leviathan box is so cool. And I would love to... I, I would love to get my hands on those Tyranids, but, like, it doesn't exist. Like, if it exists, that's awesome. But... 
a like limited availability mind-boggling amount that's just copium they know it's gonna sell out instantly it absolutely is gonna sell out instantly there's no shot it doesn't because i mean think about it this way like the last Warhammer edition, like, ninth, that was sort of, like, during, like, the global pandemic, you know? And even then, like, ninth edition was pretty popular. Games Workshop made a lot of money. Uh, but now it's like, we're all coming out of that, and it's like, people are hyped for 10th edition. People are super hyped for 10th edition. That shit's gonna, like, if it was just made to order, if it was just made to order, man, it would be so much nicer if it was just made to order. I'm never going to get over it. I'm never going to get over it. And we're going to do it like this. Because it basically guarantees that we take two. Actually, can we do this? Fuck it, we ball. Yeah, fuck it, we ball. Like, they're even coming out with, like, a... A psychic... Like, a... Zone Throp Hive Tyrant crossover. And the thing that's so sad is that, like... Games Workshop shit is just so expensive, you know? That it's like... These box sets that are, like, ridiculously overpriced are still, like, the cheapest way to, to buy the game. Like, I still think it's so funny. I don't think they're making them anymore because, like, Indominus is really old. But the Indominus, like, starter set, which came with, like, a squad of Necron warriors and some Space Marine, like, assault guys. I don't remember what the Primaris assault guys are called. The Intercessors? I don't remember. Um, but, uh, like, the, the Indominus starter thing that came with those two and, like, some cardboard terrain or whatever, that was the cheapest way to buy Necron Warriors, because the actual Necron Warriors box was more expensive than the Necron Warriors and the Indominus. So you would buy the Indominus thing and get Space Marines for free, and Necrons at a discount. And, and of course, that was like a made- I'm pretty sure that was made to order too, right? Like the Indominus thing? It, it was like, if you ordered it, it would be there, right? Like, it, it was like you bought it and then it would get made for you or something. They're probably going to have to do that with uh, Leviathan. Because if they don't, like, people... I mean, people are going to complain. People are already complaining. I complained. I, I put uh, a, a Fear and Hunger lol Lamau meme in their replies. You're goddamn right I did. Why wouldn't I? It's a lol Lamau moment. Because it's not gonna, it's not gonna exist. I'm sorry, that's the stun lock for today. It doesn't, Leviathan is not gonna fucking exist. I would love to be proved wrong. I would love to be proved wrong. Because Leviathan kind of goes hard. Well. Because again, like the Le the Leviathan box is so cool. I, I I like the Leviathan box a lot. I think it's so dope. I think it's probably one of the, I I think it is the coolest box set they've done. Because I am a Tyranid fan. Like that's it, really. It's like I'm a Tyranid fan, so I'm gonna like it more. Like the Indominus box is amazing, uh, but I I like Tyranids more than I like Necrons. So of course, I am going to, in a way always appreciate the uh, the Tyranid box set more, but they have so many new Tyranid models, and they're beautiful, and I haven't been this excited about, like, a Warhammer release in a while. Uh, but it's just, like, it's so Jover, right? Like, it is so Jover. And that's just specifically very sad. Because I feel like... Because, like, I'm just thinking about it. Like, all these new Tyranid kits are gonna be, like, as expensive as, like, some of the most expensive Tyranid kits already. But, but they're going to be more expensive because they have sort of that, like, new plastic tax, right? Like, the newer kits are always more expensive than the older kits, which makes sense, by the way, from, like, an economical perspective. This is newer technology. They're better designed, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, they're more technically impressive as well. There's more going on. Like, the price increase for the newer stuff is worth it. Don't get me wrong. It's just that, like... I'm thinking, like, oh, yeah, these new Tyranid HQs are gonna be, like... Or these new Tyranid, like, single monsters, like the Carnifex, 
it's probably gonna be like 80 90 dollars like the other carnifexes the the hive tyrant like the neuro tyrant or whatever it's called it's probably gonna be like 80 to 90 dollars maybe even 100 if they're crazy uh and it's like those two things are probably going to be the same price as the box set like two units like probably the new carnifex the new and, and the new like neuro tyrant those two things are probably going to be like close to the cost of the box leviathan so it's like it's just having to buy all those things individually because Leviathan is a box that won't exist. Yeah, true, true. We do a little perception check and fail. Also, I, I still think it's so funny that the rest at home action was taken away from there as the fix for the bug. I actually think that's very funny. We, we stand that. We absolutely stand that. Wow, okay, fair enough. You know what? Fair enough, I was not familiar with your game. And don't worry, I checked to make sure she didn't heal there uh, before I hit the gritty. We're at 46% doom. We're probably gonna have to rest just a little bit. Scary looking knife, what the hell? Now, with that being said... Oh, no, we have Desperation. We have Desperation. It's all good. I was going to be like, we're going to have to do something to ensure that she dies here because it would be rather unfortunate to die to missing, like, a 70% chance. I would take the 4% attack speed. I would. It's true. Many people are... What did I do? I mean, that's actually what I wanted to do, so that's okay. I'm all right with that one. And you know what? I'm hitting you again with the gritty because we can't... Uh... We're going to school scissors next, so I'd like to be pretty healthy. I mean, yeah, did we just rest three times for no reason? One of them was technically accidentally. We have perception, we can do that. Hell yeah. Free sewing kit, my beloved. I mean, we could shoot twice here. Could do a little, uh, I started blasting. I mean, unless we get horribly unlucky, it's kind of funny, and it gets us some EXP, and we don't have to run away. Okay, alright, you know what? I was not familiar with your game. Thank god we hit that. We gotta hit one of these. Never underestimate Moriko's ability to fumble the bag. Just for whatever reason. <laughs> uh, yeah, we do school scissors, I think. Because, like, Akamanto is going to be harder with or without the bullets. Oh, yeah, we did kind of do that, didn't we? I would really like it if it was. Thank God it's that. Okay, that and, and that's why we do this one fourth. It's because it has a chance of not being a boss fight. I don't know if it's 50-50 or what. Haven't done that in a while. The classic pause moment i was only gone for a couple minutes though so it's all right it's all right we're hitting the gritty we're uh we're going fast we're going quick i got 16 minutes until a raid did i mention that no i didn't mention that because i'm animated stupid troll doll hanging through the ceiling web gets trolled We do want to get the 20 EXP as much as possible. It's a bow and a clap, or a clap and a bow, not a freaking scribble on the on the freaking chalkboard. Impossible angles, how dare you. Don't you impossible angle me. I have Ikumi on my friends list. Uh, we probably should just not do that. Your reason penalty increased, huh? That's pretty crazy. So it's a bow and a clap, by the way. And then we just kind of have to shrug and get lucky, a bow and a clap. It's a full sweep. I'm feeling like a round of applause, all right? We're, we're giving it to the Leaning Tower of Pisa. Leaning Tower of Scissors. Ah, shit. Okay. Uh, there's a couple bows in there. It's like bow, clap, bow, clap, bow, or something like that. But, uh... 
hot bath, my beloved? I think that's the way to go, actually. You might think I'm crazy, you might think I'm wild. But I think that's the way to go. Mainly because we're up against uh, Akamanto, and I'd like to be near full health if that's okay with you. The school is doomed, and the dog is gone? Well, in the video game. Right now my dog is sitting on my lap. Trying to get into a fight with the... The... How did I forget what headphones were called for like five seconds? I was like, ah oh, yes, the things that go over your ears and deliver music and sound into them. Hello. Now she's just coughing. Yeah, she's trying to get in a fight with the, the headphone cord. I think she lost because she gave up. Five to all, huh? And we don't have the attack speed to, to do that, huh? Okay. I'm gonna take two damage to all. Killer. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. We get the box cutter. The box cutter is a halo power weapon, like the energy sword or the gravity hammer. Uh, We'll do this, because we're gonna end up resting anyways, so it doesn't really matter. Although we will use the sewing kit to hopefully rest the least amount of times. Library notes. Uh, we love casting spells. I said this earlier, of course. We love casting spells. But I don't know. Stepping away from the, the computer for two minutes cooled me off slightly about the Leviathan box, but I'm still kind of salty about it. Because, well, how do I put it? I'm still kind of salty about it. That's probably the best way that I can put it. I mean, we're getting the Akamanto thing, so we might as well just go full force here. And let me actually equip the box cutter, by the way. That's pretty good. Okay, the dog... the dog is gone? Question mark? I don't want you jumping on the god tier box, so just get out of here. Because if she wants to get off the chair, she either has to jump on the god tier box, which I don't want her to do, or she has to be let down by me. Also, she's trying to attack the door. What the heck? She's going crazy. Live dog reaction? Do not worry, she wants for nothing. She's just sad that uh, some of the people that I'm staying with left the building. And so she's like, no, let me out, I must go with them. And it's like, where do you want to go, the fucking grocery store? Well, that's... I don't actually know where they went, but, you know, I would want to go to the grocery store. So if somebody put me behind a door and then said, I'm going to the grocery store, see you later, I would attack the door in a vain attempt to get to the grocery store. I think that's pretty relatable. I like grocery stores. I mean, we can just do 24 damage. But I don't think... So therefore, we ball. Oh hell yeah. You'll love to see that, all right. Now it's broken, it's still alive? Are you telling me it has a percentage chance to break? I thought it broke after the first combat. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about that then. So we're getting our ass beat here, okay? Minus three, minus six, minus six, minus three. But hey, you know what? That's okay. That's perfectly fine. We can have our ass beat in the quote retweets. That's perfectly okay. Uh. Yeah, I'm just double checking to make sure there's nothing that's gonna annihilate me. Yeah, I think we're fine. I mean, I could have thrown again. Like, I'm I'm always a little bit less confident after a throw. You know what I mean? 
but I'm like 99.99% sure there wasn't a stamina check there. But if I see the the knowledge check and I'm just an idiot, well, you know, you know what we can do. We can love casting spells. Yo, the Irizumi drip, let's go. I wish we could see it, but we actually can't. Um, light the way. And then it doesn't even matter what this is. I don't even remember, but it was something like uh, mermaids or something. I don't know. And there we're good. You know, you're always a little bit nervous after you throw, but then, you know, you build the confidence back up and you're like, we are so back. We are so Barack. You love to see it. So anyways, stay safe out there. Have a good one.